A campus on edge after it happened again. A sexual assault at or near Creighton University. We learned today that last Sunday night, a man pulled a 19 year old woman to the ground near her dorm, then fondled her. Tonight, reporter Miranda Christian has more on the troubling trend. Omaha police are looking for a suspect who they believe has followed, grabbed, and sexually assaulted three women near Creighton University. The descriptions vary a bit. However, in each case, the guy was wearing a hooded sweatshirt, in one instance, a bandana over his face. The first two assaults were in April, and one just last week when a student was walking back to her dorm and was attacked, and a man forced his hand inside her pants. Just the mannerisms have been the same in all three which is why I think they're probably tied together. Lieutenant Mark Dessler says police believe they are looking for one suspect. Uh, obviously, this person uh, prefers uh, lone females to be targeted. It is terrifying. Elizabeth Power with the Women's Center for Advancement says these assaults cause fear. We know, statistically speaking, many sexual assaults happen by somebody you know. So it's a rare incident when it's a stranger. Creighton campus police have added more patrols around the dorms, and the J-Ride is also a free service that can give students a ride anywhere on campus. No matter where we are, we can just call it, like I have it saved in my phone. Students have been taking measures to ensure they aren't targets. Emily Johnson says she now carries a whistle. Like I, I will walk here with the whistle just straight in my mouth, and that's made it much much more comfortable. But officials are urging students and the public to stay vigilant while they look for the man behind the assaults. If you have to walk alone, make sure that you walk down a well-lit, well-populated path. Power also says students should always put their safety first. They shouldn't feel silly. They shouldn't feel ashamed. They shouldn't feel weak by utilizing any resources that the college is making available to them. I spoke with one of the women who was assaulted. She says that you should always walk with friends and have someone that you can always call. And if you have to carry around pepper spray reporting on Creighton campus, I'm Miranda Christian, KMTV Action 3 News. So